What's up guys, my name is DT18, welcome back to a brand new video on my channel. Today what I'm going to be doing is a best class setup in, for the MV4 uh, Assault Rifle within Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Now, I do play Infinite Warfare, it, it is a good game, it is fun to mess about, I have some fun on, and most likely you'll probably come across having to use this gun. It's one of the first guns you unlock, and it's probably one of the best guns in the game in my opinion. And I'm going to give you this class to, so you can go out there and absolutely wreck the enemy team. So the um, the variant that I go for is the MV4 Fallout because you can get the deatomizer strike from it which is just pretty cool just if it ever happens and it has reduced recoil which is really really important because it helps you like be more precise and win more gunfights because if you have less recoil than the person with recoil then you're obviously going to win that gunfight and therefore you'll get more kills and you'll stay alive longer. So yeah, that's why I use that one. It, it does cost 2,000 salvage to unlock, which is a bit, or you could get it out of supply drop, whichever one you want. But some other um, variants you could use are the, the Vigilance, that's pretty good, so you can reload faster, so you can be a bit more agile, and yeah, you can use any variant really, but my favourite is the MV4 Fallout. The first attachment is Foregrip, because the recoil stats, stacks with Foregrip. So it helps you reduce your recoil and aim better and get more kills because you can be more precise. And it with the MV4 Fallout, the recoil is lessened because they stack up. The second um, thing is Quick Draw because this allows you to aim down your sights really, really, really fast. So you can be really, really agile and like, if you go around the corner and you see someone, you can get your sights up really, really fast and shoot them and it's just really really helpful in close quarter engagements. My third attachment is the suppressor, so basically you're invisible on the radar so the enemies don't have a clue where you are. It does shorten the range a bit but only by 5 so it's fine and it reduces the muzzle flash so there's not like loads of flashing and it, it just lets you be really really agile and really like secretive and you can go around where people don't know where you are unlike if you don't have a suppressor people will know where you are and you'll get killed a bit more. Now going on to the perks, I didn't have any tactical and lethals because they're not really necessary in my opinion. So the first perk is dexterity because we're going for that agile, that trying to make it a bit more like a submachine gun. So dexterity allows you to reload and switch weapons faster. So you can like YY faster and stuff. If you don't know what YY is, it's a way of picking up weapons on the floor and I'll do, I'll do another video if you want explaining what YY is. is what YYing is and then my second perk one is ghost because it means you're invisible to UAV um, pings and relay you are um, visible on an advantage UAV but hardly anyone uses that so you should be okay and this helps with suppressor so you're not seen when you're shot and you're not seen if they have a UAV so you can be ultra secretive my second perk is hardline because you get extra points for each kill which allows you to get your score streaks faster and um, yeah it's, it's just really really helpful because instead of having to get 5 kills for a UV you can get 4 and it's, it's just really really helpful and perk 3 is pinpoint because the NV4 because I use the suppressor on it it's a bit harder at long range so basically pinpoint it outlines enemies with a red line when they're taking weapon damage so if you're trying to shoot someone from quite far away you can see them more you can see them better with this perk and it allows you to get kills even quicker. Now the playstyle I would use for this weapon is like medium to long, medium range to shorter range. So like you know, I wouldn't advise going around corners and like in close quarter rooms. I'd like advise going on flanks and flanking them and stuff. Don't go through the middle of the map through a building or anything because submachine guns and shotguns will mostly almost um, always win and it's just really 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 annoying so try and stick to the flanks and try and get those medium to range medium to long range kills and you should be pretty good so guys if you enjoyed this video please give it a big fat thumbs up and if you guys want to see more best class setups or more gameplays on infinite warfare please give it a big um, like and comment down below what gun you would like to see me cover next and I'll see you guys next